Hi everyone and welcome to my water journey. So originally I was going to film this starting Monday to Sunday because um, it's Sunday right now but my head started hurting again um, since last night and then I slept taking an Advil and it still hurts so I figured my body was still dehydrated so this was a perfect time to start my water journey instead. So a little explanation. I am the type of person not to drink a lot of water in a day. Even at camp, our camp director would tell us that we would need to drink at least, leaders would need to, counselors would need to drink at least two of these and campers at least one. And I'm not a big water drinker. I'm not the type of person that sweats a lot either. Like even if I'm doing, I'm like exercising, my face only just gets really red and there's like minimal precipitation on my face or body but it's the summer now and it's getting really hot my body is constantly trying to cool itself off and in more need of water so i am going to start taking care of my body for a straight week by drinking a full liter of water and i know that that's not a lot it's definitely not compared to people drinking like gallon a gallon of water a day or anything like that but i think that this is a good start for me and drinking water can have of course a lot so many benefits your body is mostly made up of water and it does need water to survive and it also has benefits of flushing out all the bad stuff in your body and i think that could be really positive for my skin my skin has been getting better and i have been drinking more water leading up to like this moment but um i figured that drinking more of this like oh, keeping track of it through a whole water bottle would be much better for me i do have work today so um i do need to remind myself that even if i'm not thirsty like my body does need the water so i need to constantly remind myself and if i'm doing like this challenge or journey type video for you guys and you know for me to hold myself accountable i can keep track and drink more so this is day one and let's see if i can finish it I'm done eating breakfast, but I'm already like halfway with this. So I'm just going to change my own rules here and say that I have to finish at least two. I'm going to follow what my camp director told us and finish at least two. I just have to put in the effort, you know? I know that I'm pushing myself, but it's not like my body doesn't need this. So two bottles. We are now moving on to bottle number so we're back from work and I have this much left you know in that scene in Friends when Joey drinks a gallon of water to prove that he could do it because it's on his resume I feel like that so much just dripped but besides the point i finished two full liters of water today goal accomplished day one over right, day two water bottle so a little update my headache is gone I'm not sure if it's because I drank a lot of water, but I think that helped a lot. And after um, maybe like two hours into work, it went away. And then um, my skin is already, I mean, it was already like getting better, but I could already tell like on my forehead, the one here was like more obvious that it was there yesterday or like the day before, like two days ago. And after like a full day of two liters of water, it's already going down and that because I obviously like of course I put on acne medication like 
purple cream before I go to sleep and stuff. And so I'm just feeling much better about my skin. This, I have no idea what that is. That's not a pimple. I don't know how that got on my face. It's just a cut. Maybe, you know, a week doesn't sound like a lot of times. I know there's like a water challenge for like 30 days and some people do like, you know, a whole gallon in a day. But I think this is a good place to start maybe later on like in another month i'll do 30 days but for now i'm good with this so day two here we go day three you all know the routine last night i didn't get to update you but my sister and i it was the 20th anniversary of when the first harry potter book harry potter and the sorcerer's came out and my sister and I had already been planning to go to Harry Potter trivia so it was like perfect that it ended up being on that day but I ended up like getting onto the train at first like having to pee and we got to the event and like right on time that there wasn't any time to use the bathroom so I spent the whole time at the bar like trying not to drink a lot of water when I had more than half of my second liter left so I arrived home and was drinking because, you know, after the event, which we won second place. Can we just give a moment to talk about that for a second? My sister and I grew up on reading Harry Potter and like watching the movies. But this was the book trivia and it was so amazing. We thought there would be more hardcore fans, but um, we won second place, so you know. That was great. That was such a fun time and a fun way to spend the 20th anniversary, which I thought was really fitting. Our team name was Weasley's Are King. I dedicated a page to it in my journal, made a whole Snapchat story, Instagram post about it. Definitely like a top-notch Harry Potter nerd. All you Potterheads, let me know because honestly, you should look up events on like triviaad.com and they have like events held all over Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, and they said some parts of Delaware. So it's really fun. You don't need to be over 21 to get into the bar as long as you're not drinking. So that was just a lot of fun. But I got home and I realized that I needed to catch up on drinking a lot of water and it was already like 11 p.m. And my sister and I got casually just scratching my armpit. My sister and I got caught up talking and we just got consumed in talking about a bunch of stuff. We talked about camp, tattoos, like tattoo designs and things like that. That I forgot to drink my water and it was past 12. But the day technically wasn't over for me because I wasn't going to sleep. So I was able to like journal and then finish drinking my water. But it's now day three. New leader. Here we go. It's working really great. My skin feels good. I'm peeing a lot. Um, but that's the whole point, you know? I need to flush out all the toxins in my body. And my pee's coming out, like, clearish. So, you know, that's a good sign, too. Like, super yellow pee is a bad sign. If that's what your pee looks like, you need to drink more water. It means your body is, like, dehydrated. So... You know, that's a sign that your body's trying to tell you. I'm only doing it for a week, so I don't know how many, how much like change I'll see, but I feel really good so far. I feel really proud of me. Like I probably might keep this going. The second liter is filled up, ready to start the work day. So I'm back from work. I have about 300 milliliters left. But I'm really craving some late night snacks, so I think I will down this pretty quickly in addition and I might go over two liters, so we'll see. I'm literally thinking about going on to snack number three. I'm almost down to my water. So that's great. I'm almost gonna be done with my second liter, but I'm definitely not gonna be like up to finishing the third one because I have to shower and sleep. Because I'm literally just catching up on some YouTube videos right now. <sighs> I think I'm just gonna fill it up to like 500 milliliters. Milliliters. I think that's enough. I can definitely finish half. Alright, 
500 milliliters. So day three, I drank two and a half liters. Sunday, Monday, I drank two liters of water. And then Tuesday, I finished two and a half before I went to sleep. I feel really good. I woke up earlier than my alarm. I think I'm gonna get editing on my previous clips. I think I just needed to edit Mondays and then import Tuesday's footage. So yeah, it's gonna be a slow day. Second meter. My sister and my mom are watching Lin-Manuel Miranda's like freestyle rap on Jimmy Fallon, so it's a little loud in the kitchen. But it is currently 9.34 and I am that close to finishing my second liter. And I think it's time we go on to the third one. Honestly, since it's still 9.35, I think I can finish a third liter. I'm journaling, right? Watching SVU also catching up. Holy shit. Guess where your girl's at? That is around 400 milliliters. It's only about 11.13. So I think I can finish three milliliters today. Look at that last bit of three liters. I'm not ready to sleep yet, so I'm getting thirsty. I'm just gonna fill it up to two milliliters and we'll go from there. Getting started on another 300 milliliters. So I finished that 200 way too quick. Cheers. Yesterday, I finished 3.5 liters of water. And I've been listening to music since I've woken up. And I'm listening to the Pop Rising like playlist on Spotify. And I'm really getting in the mood to dance. I do want to try to look for some dance classes to attend this summer, but also my sister recently got the Just Dance for our Wii, and we also have a Zumba thing for our Wii, so I might just do a little workout today, maybe, I don't know. I'm having a bit of a late start because this is my second liter, it's 4 p.m. and I'm only, I only drank a liter and 300 milliliters, so I got changed, I'm ready to do a little bit of wee workout and um, hopefully catch up for the day. I thought I was slacking today, but this is now my third later and I really have to pee and shower. It's 10.45 and I'm just about done with my third liter and it's only 10.45. So I think we can push on to the fourth one. This is my fourth liter and it's 12.50 and I think I'm gonna head in early tonight because I already showered after I did Zimba. So fourth liter. Dang girl. Fourth liter. Done. I have to pee really badly. So, good night. Starting on the new liter. Cheers. Yesterday, I ended up finishing four liters of water, which is crazy. Perfect timing because I'm about to leave for work and I just finished my first liter of the day. So I'm headed to work filling up my second liter. Here we go. I am currently working on liter number three, but my head hurts. It started hurting again at work. I don't know if it's because I wasn't drinking water or like the lighting is just really dark that it messes with my head. I need to figure that out. I don't know. It just hurt a lot and it still does. So I'm trying to drink a lot of water. Might take an Advil. I'm not sure, but um, I'm going to hop into the shower, throw my water bottle in the freezer. And let's get clean. Look at that ice. What the heck? Day seven. Here we are. Last 
day. It's been going so well until this giant pimple appeared and it hurts a lot. Last night I ended up only finishing with three liters, but that's still pretty good, more than I thought I would finish. Um, yeah, I leave for work in about two hours. Hopefully I finish a liter by then. Let's get the last day started. It's 1.58 and I'm on liter number two, which means I'm moving along quicker, but hopefully I can finish this whole liter before the restaurant opens so I can refill it with ice. Hi everyone, it's actually the next day, um, but I didn't get to film like a whole overview or like review clip of how I felt about this challenge journey, whatever you want to call it. Last night I only ended off finishing with 2.5 liters. I had, I like chugged a whole bunch of water right before the restaurant opened so I could fill it up again. The third liter, but I ended up not being able to finish it when I came home. So I only finished half of it. But overall my skin did do really well um even my mom and my sister noticed it but then i obviously have like this new pimple here and this one that got super big i don't really know why i looked it up and like chin pimples are supposed to mean that you're getting your period that timing didn't really work out for me but otherwise my skin did really well my pimples like around my temple area are gone i feel really good i feel healthier and after a while i feel like it got easier to drink a lot more water because my body got used to it. My mouth would get really dry at points if I wasn't like drinking a lot of water. I don't know, maybe my, like it's always been like that, but I'm more aware that like when my body needs the water, I should drink it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this going. I definitely always, drink water but like i don't know if i'm gonna hold myself accountable to drink that much anymore it was a really fun challenge though for myself it does really have its benefits i know that the only time my pee came out like yellow was when i wake up in the morning because you know i wasn't like drinking water doing anything for eight hours so i could tell that was like flushing everything out of my body i think it helps overall i don't want to like go back to drinking very little water and not using the bathroom because i was that type of person i mean the whole week i didn't even drink anything else ex like i only dr i only drank water and i'm not the type of person that like drinks a lot of soda and stuff i had that phase and now i'm just tired of it i think maybe at least a liter yeah I'm not gonna like force myself to do it and like be like oh my god you missed the challenge blah 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 anymore but I think it was good for me to have done something like this and to experience it because I know I do feel that my skin did really well from it and it wasn't like as dry anymore I don't know maybe that's why it's so dry in the winter but I think it's a good challenge and I commend the people who do it for like a month or drink a whole gallon for a month um but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this was a really weird video it was kind of planned but I wasn't sure if I was gonna do it or not but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed please give me a big thumbs up if you do it I want to know your experiences please hit the like button and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in next week's video bye